What happened when the girl slashed her tires? What did you do? You see how the story is one sided. I put like a piece of ass on. I don't think that's serious when I see Did you have a girl in the house? Did you see the girl that set that dude's car on fire? Did she? I did it. So tell us about a time when a girl <laughs> like bust your window, crawl through the window, <laughs> slash your tires, set your car on fire. Tell us. We are here for it. I had somebody put down like this. Why are you asking him? You don't even need to know. Next person. He look innocent though. He look nice. He look nice. He look nice. He tell us about a time a girl messed your stuff up. Y'all are horrible yeah. people. So you don't know who did it. So what girl was you talking to at the time? You was talking to that many people? See? Yeah. <laughs> what they do to you? They have called me crazy. Michelle, that's about right. <laughs> that's about right. So Friday night has come to a close. Super fun, Christina, Kristen, Mac, Nisi, Amina. It's been a great night. So I'll take it to the house. I gotta make this curfew. I said I told Abby I was gonna be home early. I'm tired, like, bruh. I got to do better. I know. I, 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 I was in. Wait, no. Wait, what's your name, Mama? No, no, I was looking like this. When I heard Courtney? That. Courtney. Yeah, we gotta get Courtney's hair because it's like so she bald. So cute. Like, but wait, it. but wait. She said. <laughs> I'm the real N word. I said, no. wait, wait a minute. I heard what? it. But she's not. I heard it. I said, yeah. <laughs> where's Lamina? Okay, that's my car. Okay, where's your car? Amina, please do not fall. Yeah, you're right. I can't be sitting around the cemetery. Sorry. Yeah, for real. Thank Come you. On. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm, you gonna give me my I'm, I'm about to order some clothes. Crazy sad. Crazy. <laughs> so is everybody going home? Yes, it is 4 30. Amina. Considering that it's uh, see why you gotta bring up eleven. You gotta bring up nine o'clock. Two hours and ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that don't count because you know I had to clean up. While I'll be in trouble. It's called uh, a new spot eatery. So let's see. I really like like the little outside area. Yeah. Chicken wings with waffles infused with bacon, cheddar cheese. Mm. Okay. Looks like the service is slow, so we should put in our order. Hurry, <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to get to eat? Um, chicken wings and waffles. How did you feel about the tattoo consultation? <laughs> um, I got $90 worth of 
was a lot for just the, the thing, but I never, I don't know what prices for tattoos are, so. <laughs> but tell us what you were gonna get. Oh, um, it's a line from uh, my angel. I think it's called Still I Rise. Mm -hmm. It says, um, but still like air, all rise. I just went to go Super cute. Guys, this is why I'm still fat. <laughs> Maria was talking about, oh, you know, get the burger. You can walk it off. It's early enough. Like, really, really. So I'm out with Maria. This girl said, are we married? <laughs> like, I mean, 2020 is a fair question, but really? Tell me what it's like to date someone that's not you you know part of your culture and what is your culture tell us okay part of my culture um so i grew up in haiti mm -hmm. i lived there till i was 12. okay so i feel like i'm both like i feel like sometimes i i don't feel like an american and sometimes like i feel more american than haitian so i go back and forth so you're Haitian. Do you identify though as a black woman? Do you consider yeah. yourself a black woman? Okay. Yeah. So and even you know whether you do Haitian culture, American culture, whatever your culture is, how you grew up. How is it when you date someone who's, who's not, who's different, who's not a part of that culture in any way? So wherever they're from, like I've always been approached by different people. More men outside of my race and culture approach me than black men. Wow. So it's, I'm so used to it. I don't know. Why is that? Difference. I don't know. I That's I'm interesting. <laughs> like, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I get approached by other races than black Back men. in the day, I've never, I was never really approached by anybody but black men. So what's wrong with me? And I, <laughs> and I don't know if it's because I wasn't like, raised here so maybe i don't i'm not i feel like so I'm you're exotic enough. i feel like i'm not black <laughs> enough for black men here how i don't know i mean i'm dark as i don't know what <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for fun like like what is your traditions like, i don't know so it's but do you oh wait let me help you out you believe in barbecues you like chicken, macaroni and cheese, greens, <laughs> like cornbread, <laughs> <laughs> greens, potatoes, yams. I don't know. I'm there a little bit. So, sometimes I have to be careful with the jokes, especially if it's like a racial joke where like. And you very blunt. Yeah. yeah. And, and there's some stuff I can, you know, like I can say. What about the current climate? What's going on with black men? How would you, like, how do you have that conversation? Is that person sensitive sensitive to it? Can they really, re I mean, you can be empathetic. You can't relate, even though, you know what I'm saying? But it's not the same, but. <sighs> um, I find, I have a friend who's dating, like, he's black and his wife is, um, I forgot what she is, Hispanic mixture, a couple of different mixtures in there. And she'll, like, talk about, he has a black daughter, right? His daughter's uh -huh. black. And she'll like make comments, like insensitive racial comments, and she doesn't like wow. understand. So it's kind of like he's stuck, he's married. You know, they're already wow. married. So it's not like he can just say bye, but like <coughs> she's so insensitive and doesn't even realize that like it's racist, some of the comments, especially about like her hair and stuff like that. Wow. So I find that if you date outside your race, you should have somebody who's sensitive. Like I find that mm, I like that. the people that I tend to like, they have, they don't have to understand what it's like to be a black man or right. a black woman, mm -hmm. but you need to be sensitive to the cause. I love that. Yeah. Okay. That's real. Because they're not going to understand what it's like to be you. That's true. And Difficult to relate to them because of that. No. Okay. I think you have to do a lot of explaining. Like, I have to explain why I can't go to this random small town <laughs> in the middle of Texas. Like, I right. want to, you know, stop there to get gas. Like, you have to explain little things like that. 
Um, you know, where if you were with, the, if I was with a black man, like some stuff I didn't, we didn't need to have that conversation. You know, That's true. Understood. That's or, true. like, why aren't you getting your hair wet? <laughs> Can you watch TV? Like everybody know black women. Like that's one thing. If you going if you dating black women now, you need to know that. Watch TV. It's in every comedy show, oh, movie. Yeah. We don't get our hair wet. You know why? That they just bounce on that. In there, like in the shower, like came and wet my hair. Wet my hair. I just got my hair done. Okay. Wait, you say y'all was in the shower? What the? Hey, this is like you see kids on. Now that we the X-rated conversation. Yeah. Done. Thank you. Oh, married, divorced people. Yes. You need to have been married to know how much work marriage is. Facts. All the fantasy is gone. And if you want to remarry, right, you got to know why you failed the first time. That's and real. And what you can do better. That's real. Because I, I feel like before I got married, I had all these fantasies of what marriage, you know, all this stuff. You're going to get married and have kids. All this stuff's going to be great. No one tells you before you get married how hard marriage is. People tell you like, oh, marriage is hard work. They don't really tell you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give you details. And, uh, and I think too, as a culture and society, we don't know how to choose your partner. Mm. When you apply for a job, when I got my job, I had to go to four interviews, okay? First, I got to fill out the application, then somebody screens it, mm -hmm. and if I have, if I match on paper, then they call you in. I had to do a phone interview, mm -hmm. then I had to go in and interview with three or four people. Mm -hmm. Why is it like when you're dating someone, you're like, oh yeah, they look good, and then you, you know, you marry Like, we don't, I feel like as a people, we don't know how to choose, or maybe Americans or whatever it is. We don't know how to choose people. We don't put the... It should be like, a, I'm interviewing you to spend the rest of my life with you. Isn't that what dating, the dating process looks like? But everyone has a different definition of dating. That's part of the problem too. But isn't that what the dating process I is? feel like right now, people are dating just to date. Like, it's like a hookup thing. How many people are intentionally dating where I'm dating you to see if you're going to be a partner? Or dating with a purpose. So do you think that your partner should fill out an application? Should Correct. you screen them? I need a credit no, being score. Right. I need a, a criminal check. <laughs> an STD panel. <laughs> criminal background That's, check. Hey. Like, all this stuff. But besides that, what else should be on this application? Well, you need to meet their family. Um, mm. See how they are. Like, what kind of relationships they have with their family. So you need to do... Okay, I need to shadow your family this week. Yes! <laughs> And you need to see how they interact with their family. What kind of... Like, are they distant with their family? Like, mm. what happened? Especially their fathers. Yeah. Yeah. What relationship does the guy have with mm -hmm. his mom? Like, and his dad. Yeah. Like, yeah. does the mom baby him? Or does he... Like, all that information is, like, background information that's important. Because that's going to determine how he's going to treat you. As but again, most people do that during that dating process. Right? That's what but you ignore it. Yeah. Right? You're like, oh, he looks good. good. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I love. I love. I love you. Oh, it doesn't matter. I, He's I, sleeping on the couch. He's playing video games all day, but I love yeah, him. Correct. Yeah. And you're not realizing that once you get married, he's going to work even less. That's Because right. now, you know, you're supporting him. There's just so much stuff. And actually, I was listening to somebody speak about marriage. And the guy said, you shouldn't marry people when you're in the in love phase. Mm, because, I like that. That's real. Because he's like, when you're in love, like, you think you can fly. Like, everything is great. <laughs> when you jump off that building. I know. There's like roses and green patches. <laughs> Everything's so great. So he's like, a lot of people get married at that high stage. And then, of course, as soon as you get married, like, now you're back to reality. And you're like, yeah, yeah marriage sucks. So I don't feel that way about you. I'm not in love anymore. So we're going to get divorced. I heard a girl say, though, like you kind of said, like, she said it's important not to marry for love. She looked at marriage as like a partnership, like almost like Correct. a business partnership. Correct. So when you was talking about like running the credit score and all that. That kind of, you know, like, what are we going to build? What are we going to grow? Like, what are we in this for? I mean, I been, feel like every marriage has a purpose, just spiritual-wise. But she said you definitely shouldn't marry for love. But that took me aback, kind of like what you're saying, too. But it makes sense. But then I feel like nobody would be married. 
Well, or all marriages would just be a, a business like partnership. Like, I mean, it is a partnership, but like, it would only be strictly business. My therapist says the first time you get married, you get married for love. <laughs> the second money, time, you get married with your brain. Oh, I'm not about to say money. Because <laughs> people money say money, money too. Like, <laughs> that could be, in, you know, because the second time you're like looking for things, you didn't look. Mm. But yeah, I agree. If you get married and when you're so in love, I think then when you come back to Earth, you're gonna be like, I'm gay. Married to a lot of. Can I go back to Mars? <laughs> <laughs> like you said, it was green pastures and roses there. <laughs> Wait, where was my invite? I asked, like, was you home? Because I seen my car. So I'm saying, really, y'all chilling? Where was my invite?